What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2022 Panini Flawless Collegiate Football just sold out. This is a one-box break. Pick your team's number 12. Yes, that's another thing, Mac. Yeah, there's just the luggage has been left everywhere, right? I don't know. It's just craziness. All right, so we had a nine-team RMB, guys. Everybody else did buy in. Thank you guys so much, and good luck, guys. There's the teams there. Boat. So, let's open up this briefcase. And again, this is the last one we have. We don't have any more, at least not that I've seen. So, I'll take it off the website right now. But good to get that flawless. Flawless done, though. I've always loved flawless. Now, again, um, Group A Checklist, I guess, decided never to want to help us out and create a checklist for it. So, uh, we have to go by college rules because Carbo Connection does have a checklist, but it's just by collegiate teams. We need it by the NFL, so and it'll go to the teams they're currently on in the NFL, teams they play for the longest. So just let that fly. There's like those weird players like Flutie and those guys. If we get those guys, I know sometimes it's gonna go to like games and they only play for one or two teams, vice versa. But it is what it is. I think the hit's in the middle on this one. Yes, I believe they are too, man. And yeah, I haven't seen too much either. I'm actually kind of excited for Mosaic, though, D'Lo. McNabb is starting to sign again a lot. This, this, It looks like 2022 products is the year that he's starting to sign a lot. So he must have signed like a, a deal with Panini or something. So I'm excited because he's in Mosaic. I, I collected pretty much his rainbow out of 2020 Mosaic. And I hit his 101 Nebula. So, um, I'm going to try to get some of his shorter print autographs this year out of Mosaic. But yes, they have a pretty good checklist though in Mosaic. They just don't have the craziest inserts, but they do have good players there though. Jordan Davis, N'Kobe Dean, of course, the quarterback, Carson Strong's going to be all over the checklist, but, you know. Panini decided they were just going to keep him throughout the whole year. Yeah, I bought it. Well, I didn't pull it, but I bought one. <laughs> I found it on eBay and I bought it. But, uh, yeah. Devontae Wyatt. I ended up actually recently selling it, though, a few months back. I don't know if you're on Facebook, but there's this one guy, Philly Fanatic or Eagles Fanatic. I'll, I can send you his page on Instagram. That dude has the whole mosaic rainbow from, like, 2020. Legit. And he's been wanting to buy the McNabb and the Miles Sanders Nebula I have for me for a long time. But I decided to sell him the McNabb because... <laughs> I just needed some funds at the time, and I was like, I'll give you McNabb now, but I won't give you Miles Sanders, because he's the guy I collect the most. But, uh, yeah, this dude is crazy, if you haven't seen it already. Like, he has a whole wall and everything. So, if I sell any of my mosaics, it's going to go to him. All right, and then Devontae White, of course, is a Green Bay Packer, which is going to Michael Hall. Like, have you seen it, D-Lo? I'll, I'll show you a video of it right now after this game's over. Or after this break's over. Alright, we got Matt Corral, which of course is a Carolina Panther. 1 out of 10. Jason K. Oh, uh, that goes to Green Bay, Jason. I mean, I started getting into Eagles. I mean, I started getting into football in the late '90s, but I really fell in love with the Eagles with McNabb, really, like 2001. My brother-in-law uh, loved like Randall Cunningham, so he always rooted for the Eagles. And then I started watching a lot of football in the early 2000s, late late '90s, and that's the team I stuck with because there was no team here in LA. Ricky Williams, <clears throat> two out of twenty. Now Ricky Williams has played for multiple teams, and I still want to say that. Dolphins, I think, was still the most, because I even think he went back to the Dolphins after his first uh, stint. Let's see. 
And yes, Miami seven years, and then. Uh... Or actually, sorry, no, he like retired or didn't play. Oh no, you know what? Not that he went back to him. He like had missed seasons because he retired, and then he was like a. Uh, uh, he was a. Uh, banned for the marijuana. That's right. But yeah, he played for Miami pretty much after New Orleans. So yeah, Miami. Dolphins, Jason Kidd. Also, too, Connor, you might catch up to this, but I I think you might be delayed. Depending on the internet connection or where you're at, maybe you want to refresh. Um, but I think you might be delayed, because I think I answered the, one of those questions for you earlier. I don't know. I, I think so. So if you just want to refresh or catch up on the video. Kyron Williams. 23 out of 25. And I think Kyron, I think I looked him up earlier. He was a uh, Ram, I believe, right? <clears throat> yes, Los Angeles Rams. Rams is part of the nine team RB. That is 23. Spot three is Michael. I know, right? I don't know. I think uh, Jalen Hurts practicing today shocked a lot of people. Could be just kind of a little curveball. I don't think he is going to play, but. Uh, we have a quarterback here, it looks like, for Boston College. Campus legends. Phil Jerkovic. Lane's a freaking warrior. <laughs> I, 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 if he didn't put off surgery, I wouldn't even be upset. That dude has sacrificed his whole body for this team. Um, I just hope that, of course, he just doesn't get further injured. And obviously, you know, just for his long-term health, honestly. Is an American quarterback for the Pittsburgh Panthers. So I think he's still in college, actually. Yeah, he's a Pitt Panther right now. So he's still in college, it looks like. And it says present, so it looks like he probably stayed. Maybe he has another year of eligibility. He's probably one of those players that like got the extra bonus years um, uh, for you know the, the pandemic and stuff. So that'll be a randomizer just like the uh, last player. Everybody gets a shot at it. How about Mac Brown? Played against my Oregon Ducks yesterday with uh, North Carolina. Now that is 2 out of 20. That will also be randomized. I think he could beat the Saints too. That's what I'm saying. I don't think we need to play Jalen Hurts, but if for some reason the Eagles lose this week, I think they're going to be forced to play him against the Giants because you lose out, you potentially lose out on home field and potentially even just uh, the, the NFC East. All right, whoa, wow, this one's a beautiful one. And Mac, you lucky, lucky man. Mac bought the Steelers right as I took them out of the inventory. And look at this. One of one George Pickens. <laughs> what a lucky guy, man. And this dude is pretty good too. There you go, man. Congratulations. There you go, man. All righty. Left, right, middle. 
Devontae Adams, 3 out of 25. That's Raiders. Timothy with that one. Oh, you're right. You weren't even on YouTube yet? Yeah, I was setting up a block. Dan the Man Marino. 20 of 20. Miami Dolphins, Jason K. Alright, here we go. Here's the patch auto. Or the autograph, I should say. Looks like it might be Sam Howell, maybe? Yes, Sam Howe for the Commanders. 20 of 20. And that, of course, is going to go to spot zero, which is Jason K. There you go, man. He actually looked really, really good in preseason. Um, obviously, with Carson Wentz starting the season, gets injured. And then, of course, you know, um, what's his name? Uh, the, the back, I, I forget his name. He's just blanking in my head. But they went back to Carson, I guess. But... He looked really good in preseason. I would have gave him a shot, too. Um, Heineke, sorry. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe he'll get a shot next year. But he was pretty good at uh, North Carolina as well. Alright. And... There you go, guys. Another flaws briefcase in the books. Now, <clears throat> we have two not, uh, two hits that are going to go out to customers. Usually the way we do it is we're going to give out one and two. So number one on the list is going to get the uh, Jerkovic. Number two is going to get the Mac Brown. Just like that. And we'll randomize the teams. Now, if a team for the random number block is at number one, then it will be distributed via serial number, which is nine, going to Taylor. Same thing here. It's... Uh, distributed via serial number two it's going to Jason K. Right, so dice roll. And again, everybody gets a shot at this. So paste in all the teams. There you go. Roll it. Four and a three, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times, seven. Buffalo Bills, which is going to Jason K. You're going to get the Dracovic. And then Buccaneers, which is also Jason K. You're going to get the Mac Brown. So there you go. Bills and Bucks. And there you go, folks. That was the break. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.